is a page 95. A study is conducted. So remember, if you want points, have it, your out, have it out and fill it out. Study is conducted to see whether the frequency of tornadoes is increasing in the United States. Hmm, interesting. The null hypothesis, frequencies of tornadoes is not changing. The alternative is frequency of tornadoes is increasing. So that's a one tail because increasing is one direction, yes? And then assume the p-value produced by this research is 0.37. Use the rule of thumb presented in this assignment described well, what I'm research... as if we were in Afghanistan. I don't know. Brian, brother, you're so what are we... What? <laughs> <laughs> so p value is 0.37 use the rule of thumb for this assignment describe what research decision would be in context so we would fail to reject the null because we want that p value to be 0.05 which is 5% uh oh everyone's leaving me so we did not find strong evidence that the frequency of tornadoes is increasing I don't know if this is true or not we're just basing it on the statistics we have if the p-value were 0.09, would this be stronger or weaker evidence against the null? It would be stronger. So the closer we get to 0.05 makes it stronger and stronger, but we still would reject the null because we're not at 0.05 yet. Then number two, a study is to be conducted to see if there's a difference between chemotherapy and radiation therapy for treating early stage lung cancer. Okay. Uh, is this a one tail or two tail? And I'd say two tail because it's just we're just figuring out is there a difference between the treatments. Um, and we didn't say you know chemo was better or radiation was better. State the null and the alternative. The null would be there's no difference between chemo and radiation therapy in treating lung cancer. The alternative is difference between chemo and radiation. There is a difference between the two. So there is so there is no difference between or there is a difference between. If the p-value was 0 0.0045, what would we think? Is 0 0.0045, which is 0.45%, is that better than 0 0.05 or 0 0.05, which is 5%? Yeah, so 0.45% is way smaller than 5%, so there is a 0.45% chance that luck explains the difference between radiation and chemo. And then explain why higher p-values actually produce weaker evidence against their null hypothesis. So as your p-value gets bigger and bigger, so like this, if this was a two-tail situation, this has a really low p-value. Whereas if I had this and this, this is a really high p-value. Okay, so it's just p-value is again the probability of something taking place. So that's basically number three. Oh, we have a story to read here. I think that's the story we got. Okay. This was a article from the Caltech study into Parkinson's disease. The germs live inside a person's digestive system may affect sim symptoms of Parkinson's disease, research reported on Thursday. The germs living in a person's digestive system may affect the systems of Parkinson's Okay, we already read that. Tests done on mice showed their symptoms worsened when they were dosed with microbes taken from human Parkinson patients, but not when they got samples of, from healthy patients. And other mice and other mice, other tests on mice developed Parkinson's like symptoms showed they only developed symptoms if they had a had gut germs to begin with. Okay, the study doesn't show that gut microbes cause Parkinson's, but they may suggest a way to treat in the incurable disease, which affects up to a million Americans and 10 million people worldwide. All right, you guys know what Parkinson's disease is? It's basically, it's big tremors um, in your hands and feet, and that's what uh, 
Michael J. Fox has. That actor, who's Back to the Future guy. I think that I think that's what he had, or has. All right, describe the null and the alternative hypothesis. The uh, the null hypothesis: digestive system micro microbes do not affect Parkinson's symptom, and the alternative: digestive system microbes affect Parkinson's symptoms. Okay, do you believe the p-value would have been above or below 0.05 in the study? Explain. Um, being that they being that they made the suggestion. The conclusion in the third paragraph, um, it would have to be below 0.05 in order for them to find strong evidence um, that they these microbes do not or do affect Parkinson's symptoms. So the p-value must be below 0.05. And explain what the researcher decision would have been had the b the p-value been greater than 0.05. Uh, if it was bigger than 0.05, they would not have found strong evidence that the digestive microbes affect Parkinson's symptoms. Something like that. And then researchers found no link between influenza in pregnant women and the risk of their child developing autism after birth. A U.S. study said Monday. State the null. So no link between... No link between... Um, flu and autism in children, and the null link between flu and autism in children. And did this study fail to reject, or reject or fail to reject the null? So they failed to reject. They did not establish a link between the null hypothesis. They must have failed to, they must refail, they must fail to reject it. Okay? And that's all I got for you. No applause, just throw money. All right. Oh, sweet. There really is money flying. All right. So if you would like, page 97 and page 98 are a review. And I will have opened up on that page. Oh, actually, I don't have the review. What I will do is I will. Uh, let's see what we got. We have a quiz tomorrow. So why don't you take the next 20 minutes to try and work through that. We'll have a quiz on 6-1 to 6-3 tomorrow. Well, that's all I have for you. Sorry.